microscopic. Willard Wigan has to be one of the most incredible artists we have ever met. He specialises in sculptures that are so small they fit in the eye of a needle and can only be seen and made with a microscope. Now last week his collection was sold and then insured for a massive 11 million pounds. We're very privileged to have his work in the studio this morning, and of course Willard himself. Welcome, Willard. Hi. This is fantastic. I feel very so, honoured. Oh, <laughs> sure. Don't be dark. So, when you were a little <laughs> boy, you were only five, I think, weren't yeah. you? When you first started mm. making tiny things, what, what were the first things you did? Um, yeah. When I was a kid, I lived in a little fantasy world. I used to believe that ants had nowhere to live because I used to see them in the kitchen, and my mum said that the only reason why they're in the kitchen is because they're homeless. <laughs> so I started making houses for them. I wasn't satisfied with just making the house, and I decided to make furniture. And I made tables and little tables and chairs, I made seesaws what? and Using swings, what? I had a little splinters of wood. What I used to do is get a broken sliver of glass. Just if it would be detrimental for a kid at that age to actually do that themselves, yeah. I don't listen yeah, to don't me. Do I'll do it. it, at it. Home, don't yeah. do it at home. A little microscopic speck of glass, and I'd hold a little splinter of wood and I'd slice off little like <gasps> beams and I'd construct them and put them together with their own friction. Have you then... got Superman's eyes? <laughs> How did you manage to do that? <laughs> Well, what it is, I suppose it's a compensation because being at school at the time I wasn't very good academically, so you find a way of compensating. Well, this is so one of those things you discover you can do and academia becomes irrelevant, irrelevant yeah. when you can do this. Yeah, yeah. Have a look at... Have a look at uh, uh, so this, here's the needle. Here you go. That's the, that's the ordinary needle there. And, you can... and it's underneath the microscope at the moment. Now, if you're very, very clever, you might be able to see a green, tiny little green speck inside the eye of the needle. And there is what is in the eye of the needle. And that... <laughs> so, uh, how, how... You have to slow down your metabolism, your That's body, correct, your breathing correct. and your heartbeat so that the pulse in your fingers doesn't get in the way of, yeah. your, of your work. Yeah. Um, to, to give you some idea, I mean, some of the tools I use are very, very microscopic. They're like... They've got, like, little blades on the end of them. Got some of them I use little diamond tips. Um, or just yeah. just sharpened tungsten. Um, on the end there, some of the some of the paint brushes that it flies hairs off and flies back <sighs> to, to actually use as a paintbrush. You've got or, to pluck a fly. Well, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't go out my way to kill a fly because you might, you may have a family at home or something of them, yeah, like to upset the family. You might have made. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's for me. So what I'd do is, if I found a dead fly, I'd, I'd put him underneath the microscope, pluck a hair off, and then just shove it on the end of and that. That's little, your paintbrush. That's my it, paintbrush. Is or, it or, true or, that you or, use um, spider's web for masks? Yeah, or? I did a ship once, and I had to rig it with money spider's web. <sighs> Because there was nothing, or I'd find floating particles of dust. You know, when the sunlight comes through the window and you see floating particles, I would get one of those and slice it in half maybe four times. How do you cut a <laughs> dust particle in half? <laughs> <sighs> Do you, do you, have you done some atomic work? Can you split the atom? I'm sure you could do. Well, yeah, I, I know one thing for certain the smaller my work, the more colossal the impact. Yes. So when people see my work, they just die. Some people. Just disbelieve it completely. Can, we, can you slide a few more yes, in there okay. so that we can have, have a look? Henry um, that's next. All right. Here, I'll just get that. Is that Henry VIII? That's right. I'll just get that right for you. Mm. Just oh, one second. I'll get it the right way up. Get it the right way, and I'll just get it focused. Oh, that. And you'll see Henry oh. VIII there and his six <gasps> wives. Let's just Which get ones are they from left to right? Um, the first one's Fern. The second one. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a look uh, no, no, there's Caf Caffeine of Arrogant, and then there's Henry, and then there's Henry VIII, and um, Anne Boleyn. Yes. But if you, um, if I just get that focus right Can there, you'll look see. That. Look at the faces. Yeah. No, if I just, you'll see that there. Good lord. You'll see Henry VIII looks like he's even got his dagger. He's got his, his, his mm. traditional stance. Yes. That like the whole vine painting. Yeah, the whole thing. So it's that took you how long shape, yeah. to do that? Um, you're talking three months, three and a half months, because what actually happens when you start doing it, it becomes miserable and painstaking. It almost sends you mad, but, it, but I had to train my, my, my patients not to run out. It's like you're disciplining your mind, your body, your soul, because you have to slow all your nervous system down. So what I do, I, I kind of work like that, and I sort of wait for my pulse to go, and then... Because, as, as you know, your heart pumps blood around your yes. body and it, there's a pulse in your finger, so I have to wait. And I work between the heartbeats, I have one and a half seconds to move. 
because if I don't, the pulse in my finger can be detrimental and yes, it can destroy the words. Yes, just imagine putting that, putting that on. And these have been... Wizard of Oz, you've got the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, the Wizard of Oz, yeah. Wizard of Oz on. Well, yeah. I just say, these have been bought by David Lloyd, mm -hmm. uh, the famous ex-tennis player and tennis yeah. coach, and he, these are at the um, David Lloyd Museum. Mm -hmm. Now, this is Wizard of Oz, and you have got Toto's a dog there Toto's somewhere. In there. Can you spot him at home? Toto. He's actually in there to get the focus. He's the third one in from the left, a tiny little speck on the floor. Is that right? Yeah, he's a little speck. There's Dorothy. She's got ruby red slippers on. What's, her, what, what's the, the wand? What's the blue fairy's wand made out of? Um, 24 karat gold. Is it? So th the wand is actually a floating fibre out of the air. I had to slice <gasps> it three times because it was too big. <gasps> In order to put the You'd wand in. You'd be very good as a forensic scientist as well, wouldn't I you? I had to drill a hole through the fairy's hand and then put the actual wand through <sighs> because I can't actually use any form of glue. I have to sort of, sort of, make little holes in the top of the needle and then just sort of shove them in. So and then I don't as you think this is you doing it. I think you have little fairies who come at night and do it, <laughs> don't you? Well, you <laughs> well, earned your MBE, magical. which you pick up, I think, is it the twelfth of, uh, of, of July? July. Congratulations. Congratulations on that. Um, Thank you so much for, for cup. Just slide one more yeah, that we haven't seen yeah. underneath there. Yeah. Just, round, uh, just, just quickly there. And this, uh, this one's a. What's that one? This is a doll's house. A doll's house. Wait, yeah. Oh, this is the one with the upstairs and the downstairs. Yeah, yeah. You'll be able to see. Uh, uh, <gasps> look at that. Just a minute. Let's get the focus right. Look if at I can that. just bring look. it in closer, you should see Wendy there. That's her name, Wendy. The little. Wendy, where is she? There's oh, she there is. she is. Oh, I, I do. She's got a little dressing table there. What is she made there. out of? I made that out of a, 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 some f fibre. <laughs> um, sometimes I use a human hair to carve with, but if she was that small, I couldn't use a human hair to use a fibre. Because, and even though you're seeing it, there's a lot more detail because there's lights, you know. Listen, Willard, thank you very it's much amazing. indeed. That's fantastic. Um,